Uh, hi there YouTube and welcome to my little 500 subscribers special video. Yes, I finally made it and all thanks to you guys. You are awesome, you are cool, you are in fact so amazing that I dedicated this entire video only to you. Thank you very much, all of you. Now, you probably already noticed that this is Pokemon. In fact, it is Pokemon Leaf Green, um, which is supposed to be very similar to the original Pokemon. I remember playing it on Game Boy Color back in the day, but then again, that's over a decade ago, so, and I, I wasn't really that great at the game, so that, that's, that doesn't really account for m uh, much, because I'm, I actually don't really remember much from this game. For example, this city, Pewter City, I actually have no recollection of that, so, um, yeah, whatever that means. Well, it doesn't really matter uh, whether they changed a lot in this game or not, because the fact is that this is a subscriber special video. And if you have watched my 100 subscriber special video, you probably noticed that I have gone through the effort of writing down every single YouTuber name of every single subscriber that I had back then. And to all the subscribers that subscribed to me after that 100 subscriber video, I promised them that I would do exactly the same thing for my 500 subscriber special, only with a different game. And I really, really wanted to do that. But the sad thing is that um, over the many changes that YouTube has gone through um, during the last couple of months, I think, uh, I think um, one of them was actually, sadly, that they got rid of the subscriber list, which is really, really stupid in my opinion. Because not only do I not have the possibility anymore to see a definite list of who's subscribed to me and who is not. But it is also much more difficult for someone like me who does videos, who wants to have subscribers and who wants to stay in contact with them, to actually do just that, staying in contact with their subscribers. Because the only way for me to know that you are actually watching my videos and following me is if you write a comment or send me a message. Other than that, I have no idea that you exist and that you w are watching my videos and that you are liking them or disliking them. I, I don't know that. So there are a lot of my subscribers that are basically like ghosts to me, which is really, really sad that YouTube decided to go this way. And it leaves me in this position that I cannot do a similar thing like the 100 subscribers video. So, um, yeah, I had to settle for something much more disappointing, and that is I did not write down 500 names of 500 subscribers, but in fact I settled for only six. Yes, only six of my subscribers got into this special video. Now, how did I settle for six subscribers? Um, I basically just told you, the only way for me to know that you are watching and enjoying my videos is if you leave comments. Uh, positive comments at best. So um, over the course of one month, I actually studied all the comments that you were writing to me and I made a little checklist for each of my users and um, how many comments they left basically. And then when I finally hit 500 subscribers, I stopped the vote, uh, stopped the count, put all the, um, the comments to the vote and the six subscribers who left the most comments on my videos actually made it into this video. I started this game, I chose a Pokemon, then went into the world, captured more Pokemon, until I had six Pokemon. I didn't capture any more, didn't bother. I only got six Pokemon and I gave them nicknames for the um, subscribers with the most comments. And that's where we are right now. We are in Pewter City in front of the very first gym, so this will be my very first batch that I'll get in this game. And hopefully the uh, Pokemon, my subscriber Pokemon, will help me achieve just that, to achieve this little mini goal of this game, the very first batch. Uh, now this is Brock, he is the leader of this gym. He'll just talk a bit, make a bit of silly jokes about rocks, and uh, he will now challenge me to a duel. Let's see how we fare with the Pokemon that I trained during the last few days. 
Uh, first of all, he will summon Geodude, level 12, and I countered with Raven Black, level 10. Yes, that is the Pokemon that I chose in the beginning, and of course, it's a Bulbasaur. And the name it got from my dear viewer, Raven Black, who left the most comments on my videos. So thanks a lot for that, dude. You are great. And that's why you are number one right now on my little list here. Now, we will start off this very exciting fight, I can tell you that, by... Uh, what will we do? What will we do? I uh, will activate Leech Seed first, because that is the most powerful attack, actually, in this very first fight. And I just seeded this Pokémon, which is probably considered sexual harassment. But, yeah. Um, now, it doesn't matter if the enemy punches us, because we will automatically get healed. So, I have time to actually talk to you for a little bit more about this first Pokémon, Raven Black. Or, rather, the user Raven Black. Uh, he... I'm, I'm just assuming that he's a he. Um, I have no means of telling, but... Um, Judging from my YouTube analytics, 90% of my viewers are male, so I'll just pretend everyone's a guy, alright? Sorry if that insults you or anything. Alright, Raven Black is an Italian dude, and he has been on YouTube for about one year, so um, thanks for actually subscribing to me instantly during your first year, that's quite great. Um, judging from his YouTube feed, he really likes Gangnam Style, so <laughs> that's cool. And he is really obsessed with the Gothic games, which I understand, of course, and which makes this guy a truly amazing fella. Uh, unfortunately, I don't speak Italian that good, uh, no, that well, um, so I couldn't quite tell what he wrote on other people's videos lately. Um, so I can't really tell you anything more about this guy. He's a mystery to me and all of us. So, um, the only thing that I would like to talk, t uh, to, to tell Raven Black is this. Mille grazie per il tuo supporto, Raven Black. Alright, with that said, let's choose our second Pokémon. Our second Pokémon is Red Hat, and it will get tackled and almost killed, because um, uh, Red Hat is a Rattata Pokemon, which is of course red, so it's it's very tiny, it's it's puny in comparison to a rock Pokemon, so it won't really stand a chance, but then again, um, this is not really about the fight, is it? It's about the, the people that are supporting me, and Red Hat is a really awesome guy. He is from Germany, and he likes the Gothic games, so he's one of the guys subscribing to me for Gothic. Um, which is quite obvious, because I think most German gamers um, do know the Gothic series and like that. So, um, other than that, he also likes other games, for example, Warhammer 40k. Not the video game that was released, I think, two years ago it was. Uh, but rather the tabletop battle game. Which is really, really cool. I, tr I actually tried to get into that myself, but the rules are quite complex, and it's also rather um, rather expensive uh, to get started with this game, to buy all the figures and so on. So, um, respect for actually getting into that, for, for getting all the rules and so on. I, I couldn't quite do that, so um, that's, that's really awesome. And um, I would just like to say to you, Red Hat, Danke dir, Digger. Alright, uh, I think this fight has been on for long enough. Let's choose our third Pokémon. Our third Pokémon is Morton. And Morton is a Mankey Pokémon, which is a kind of a monkey. And I didn't even know that those were available that early in the game. I think it wasn't back when, when I played this on, on a Game Boy. So maybe they did change a few things. But it's quite cool because it's a monkey! It's a bloody monkey! How cool is that, is that? So, of course, I got it immediately, I captured it, and I named it after Morten. Uh, Morten is from Denmark, and he is quite an old fella, judging from uh, how long he has been on YouTube, because he has been on YouTube since 2006. Seriously, I didn't even know the internet existed back then. That is, that is quite impressive. And uh, Morton has been subscribed to me for quite a long time now, and he was one of the taffers, meaning that he subscribed to me back when I only uploaded Thief 
um, one with videos and nothing else. So he's, he subscribed to me because of that and he is a real great fan. He knows a lot about this game. He's a, he's an expert, basically. In comparison to me, um, uh, while I, I only know a bit about the game, he really knows basically everything. He completed the game probably 50 times. So, um, yeah, he's a true expert. But he also likes other games. For example, the Elder Scrolls series and Monkey Island, judging from his channel. And he is a very active Let's Play watcher. Among the many Let's Players that he is watching, there is, of course, Variax, uh, which I can only support because Variax is a god to me. So, um, yeah, that is really great, Morton. And I would just, uh, just like to tell you uh, this. Mangetak für Alting. Prosit. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, all right. I think, yeah, Geodude is halfway down, so um, let's go for our fourth Pokemon now. And in case you are wondering why I'm trying to use all my Pokemons on the very first enemy already, um, the reason is I actually did a recording of this just, just now, uh, just a few minutes back, and the second Pokemon is an Onyx, and it keeps binding my Pokemon so that I couldn't switch them. So I got stuck somewhere at this point, uh, at M. Novotny, actually, and I couldn't switch to my other remaining Pokemon and introduce them, and then Onyx died um, without me being able to tell you about my remaining two Pokemon, which was really, really frustrating. Why would he do that? So I will go through all my Pokemon just now and then try to defeat Onyx uh, with uh, probably the very first Pokemon again. So, um, yeah, this is M. Novotny. And M. Novotny will start his fight by hardening. Tough guy he is. At least I think he's a guy. Again, he never really told me. But assuming from my YouTube analytics, I'll just call him a guy. Um, M. Novotny is a... Uh, what, what is he? He's a Butterfree, it's called. I actually called it as a Caterpie. No, Caterpie, I think it's called. Then it evolved into a Metapod. And then I trained it up to a Butterfree. So there we go. And M. Novotny is a person that is very, very polite in his comments and also very well spoken. He's from Slovak uh, Slovakia, so I, I'm assuming that his mother tongue is not English, but his English is so good. It's probably much better than mine. I mean, I didn't I didn't hear him talking, but from his, his uh, comments, his writing, um, his English is much better than mine. So respect for that. That's really, really great. I'm... I'm honestly admiring you for that. Uh, he uploaded one uh, video so far and that was a video response to mine, actually my very first video response, so I'm quite proud about that, um, that I was encouraging you to do that. And it was a really great video. Go check it out, I'll actually link it right now in the corner over there. And uh, it's a really good video. And what else is to say about this person? Um, he kept beating me and every other viewer of mine in the old Word of the Day challenge that I did in my Gothic 2 Let's Play. So, the only possible explanation for that is that Emil Votny is super intelligent. I mean, seriously, it's creepy, guys. He's, he's a bloody genius. So, um, without further embarrassing myself in front of this, this Stephen Hawkins of gamers, uh, I will just say, Dakujem Kamarat. And advance to my next Pokemon. Which is Ginger, or rather Mr. Man Gingerbread. You will probably all know him from my Gothic 2 Let's Play where I um, linked him beneath every video, I think. And Mr. Man Gingerbread is, in my case, a, a Sparrow, I think the Pokemon is called. Um, so it's basically a sparrow, or maybe a hawk, or a falcon, or something like that. Some some bird Pokemon, and uh, it that was actually the Pokemon that gave me the most trouble capturing it because it it killed almost all my Pokemon that I had back then. So that was quite a tough fight, I can tell you. Um, Mr. Man Gingerbread is an awesome guy. I, I actually know that he's a guy because I heard him talking, 
and he is a let's player just like me so go and check out his channel he's actually um coming to an end uh with his own gothic 2 let's play he actually did the expansion pack so go check that out um because you missed it in my let's play obviously and um that guy actually moved to london this year which is really great i'm i'm quite jealous about that i would like to live in london myself so that's cool and he loves the Gothic series just as much as I do. So that already makes him an awesome guy, doesn't it? But he also likes uh, various other games. And he does some streams as well, which is really cool. I couldn't do that. My, my PC is way too slow for that. So um, currently, I think his computer is broke. I'm not quite sure. He started uploading again. But yeah, I'm very much looking to uh, forward to the next stream, which I will definitely attend. And... Um, yeah, other than that, um, I, I'm, I'm actually not quite sure where he was coming from uh, before he moved to London. So, uh, Mr. Man Gingerbread, I have no idea what your native tongue is, but I would just like to, to say um, in English, thanks a lot for everything, because you're a really cool guy, and you help me out quite a lot with all your comments and messages and the support and cooperation, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Now, let's see for our very last Pokemon. It is Merlin, or rather Merlin Orko. Um, as you can see, this is a bee drill. Um, I captured this as a Weedle, which was kind of a little worm something. And then it evolved into Kakuna, which is uh, just as Metapod, one of the more useless Pokemon. Uh, but thankfully, I trained it. Uh, hours and hours and finally it evolved into Beedrill, which is much cooler. Uh, so let's see what Beedrill can do. Um, let's do a... Uh, what, what can we... Let's do a Fury attack. I didn't do that. Uh, Beedrill just learned that, so let's do that. Oh, that's not very effective. Yeah, I just sat that. Hit three times. Great. Tackle again. But yeah, Geodude will now die because of Leech Seed. And while it does that, I will tell you a, bit, a little bit about Merlin. Merlin um, has been a subscriber for me um, to me for quite a long time. He is from Serbia um, and his real name is Marco. So I'm assuming he's a guy. And he is very much into fantasy and horror. And I'm, I'm actually just pulling this from his uh, Facebook page, which he linked on his YouTube channel. Um, he also very much likes books, movies, and obviously video games. But he is also into drawing and philosophy and science and a lot of other stuff that I can't quite comprehend. And um, what is this? Oh yeah, right, since uh, Serbians don't really use the Latin alphabet, but rather um, Cyrillic letters, I think it was. Um, I couldn't quite read that. And that's why I couldn't translate any any personal message to you. So, uh, sorry, but I have to say this in English. Um, thanks, Merlin. Thanks, matey. And uh, just keep it going. You're an awesome guy. And I would really like to see more comments from you. Thanks a lot. All right, that's that. Those were the six people that um, commented the most on my videos. And, um, yeah, let's just... Yeah, you, you, you... you. You got another level. That's great. Yeah. Okay. A lot of experience points. And um, now Leader Brock will be sending in Onyx, uh, which is really annoying. So let's switch to Raven Black once more. And use Leech Seed on this one because that's the only way to defeat Stone Pokemon for me. Uh, or rather, Rock Pokemon. So um, we will use Leech Seed and probably get. Tackled? No, I, I was saying uh, bound, but yeah, that's that. And um, yeah, this is Raven Black again. As I said, uh, he was the one giving me the most comments, and that's why he gets a little more screen time. And this is actually the attack that he learned just recently, and I didn't quite try it out yet, but I think it's quite effective against Rock Pokemon, so let's see how that fares. Oh, wow! It's super effective. Okay, I'm glad I didn't try that out earlier because this session, this recording session would have ended quite early. Alright, great. 
Level il uh, uh, 11, that's level tw 12, all right. Two levels from one fight, that's nice. And I defeated Brock, so that means I will get the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Huzzah! Alright, oh, is anything happening? Oh, alright, there we go. Uh, so, I made it. With the help of my dear subscribers, I actually managed to defeat the first gym trainer of this game. And I got my very first badge. So, thanks a lot, guys. This really means a lot. I know it's just a small goal, uh, as well as 500 subscribers, but you guys made this possible for me, and I'm really, really glad for it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I hope you guys keep watching my videos and keep enjoying them, which is much more important. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the future. Bye-bye.